go right into display okay we're rocking a 1440p samsung g7 240 hertz monitor highly recommend you guys check out the monitor render resolution at 100 you could cr crank this up a little bit i would recommend maybe cranking this up on 1080p that's what i used to, to do before i switched to 1440 but overall i don't really have a bad time seeing stuff and uh having you know frame rate issues on caldera so so i just kind of leave it there um everything else here is pretty straightforward um one thing you do want to boost on down here is having the uh, nvidia reflex low latency you can put this on enabled plus boost if you play on mouse i just have it on enabled since i only play on controller over to quality now in the graphics tab i play on field of view 110 and affected i know a lot of the top players play on a higher fov i feel pretty comfortable at 110 so i don't feel like changing it this is one new thing on caldera that you got to switch move uh camera movement down to least at 50 percent, so your screen's not shaking all over the place when there's crazy stuff going on streaming quality i have on low texture res low uh texture filter on high low disabled disabled enabled for dismemberment and gore effects texture streaming off filmic strength and grain you want on zero as well elss i've messed around with a little bit with these settings on the different uh, ultra performance performance balance and quality and overall i'm just not a big fan it could boost your fps a little bit on some of these settings but i just don't think it's worth it, it makes the game look kind of weird and blurry for my uh for my liking so not about it anti-aliasing depth of field motion blur motion blur no thank you on any of this I know a couple people that play on anti-aliasing on one of the first couple ticks here so maybe mess around with that maybe it works for you check it out see for yourself shadow map resolution on low the cache shadow sp uh, spot shadows uh for sun and spot are both enabled right here particle lighting direct x tracing nope ambient occlusion uh-uh screen shape screen space reflection if i could talk no thank you interface all this type of stuff is pretty straightforward um i do play especially with the switch to 1440p i do make these over towards zero so it sort of squishes in the, towards the middle of your screen makes it a little bit easier for you guys to check out your mini map while you're playing if you're not using your mini map you're an absolute bot and you don't have nearly enough information on the map that you should be getting mini map shape square rotation of course kill feed duration i like to have the kill feed a little bit longer so you can you know mess with whatever setting that you like i leave it at 30 seconds so it doesn't stay up the whole damn game but it gives you a decent amount of time uh the rest of this stuff is just fps counter server latency all that stuff put on what you want i don't really care audio settings move over to high boost most people i know play on boost high or boost low i've also heard for caldera some player some players are playing on the midnight mode i tried it out i still like boost high more maybe i'm just used to it i crank music volume all the way low but i do like a little bit uh, just in the background during lobbies and stuff like that and then everything else is pretty straightforward we love our death chats our death comms so we boost the voice chat volume a decent amount just so we get a decent amount of volume there for the for the quality for the clips that we put out over to controller settings i play on tactical flip on a scuff 4 ps um very easy to switch that setting over uh dead zones and stuff you want to put these settings as low as possible on your controller so you're not getting any sort of stick drift usually the longer that you uh, use a controller the stick drift gets uh, worse and worse you might have to uh, increase these over time depending on how long you've been using your controller for lately i've been playing on 10 10 sensitivity i kind of mess around with this uh, when i get bored to be honest ads sensitivity multiplier we leave that at one you can also cool thing about caldera you can go into your custom sensitivity per zoom i've really messed around too much with that i might in the future i'll let you guys know aim response curve type dynamic i like the the acceleration um when you're kind of spinning around i like that a lot aim assist standard scale aim assist with fov disabled that might be a different setting compared to my last video i don't really remember double tap ads for uh mounting uh use reload behavior you want to switch this over to contextual tap one of the most important settings for the game to feel fluid tap the slide as well down here and armor plate behavior apply all these are three settings that'll help your game uh controls feel a lot more fluid I'd highly recommend you guys turn that one on ats another setting that we put on if you don't use ats uh i don't know i just leave this on because i don't want my left thumb to be burnt by tapping sprint over and over again to tax sprint so i like ats uh other than that yep that's about it guys nothing too crazy here yep nope nothing like that nothing crazy that's about it let's go over to our uh nvidia control panel settings really quickly nothing too fancy over here right click on your desktop you go to nvidia control panel obviously if you have an nvidia card now we're into our nvidia control panel settings and this is all very straightforward uh, i do switch this over to the nvidia color settings 
You can mess around with the, the color depth and all that type of stuff. You go to manage 3D settings. I just make sure I put this, uh, uh, I'll walk you guys through what I have here. Basically everything off, no sharpening, no filtering, basically no nothing on here. Uh, GPUs all for that, for the uh, CUDA cores. Uh, open open uh, rendering GPU auto select, prefer maximum performance for your power management mode. You can also switch that over on your PC as well. High performance in terms of texture quality, filtering allow on on for shader cache and uh, this first texture filtering option. Uh, pre-rendered frame, frames one and threaded optimization uh on as well to take advantage of multiple cpus but yeah not a big deal there i'm sure a lot of these settings you could find better settings here this is kind of what i just have it on here most of that's probably default i haven't really messed with that too much the other big setting that i use and another comment that i get a lot of my streams is like yo deep do you use filters i don't use nvidia filters you click on this adjust desktop color settings you go down to digital vibrance and i crank it up to 80. that's it that's it. That's literally it. Do that. Hit apply. There you go. 